Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the 20th anniversary of David Fletcher's death. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us with your love. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promised to come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <clears throat> Reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure to profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, in the, the way, way of your, of your commands. commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, in the, in the way, way of your, of your commands. commands. The way of the truth I have chosen, I have set your, your ordinances before me. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord in, in the way, way of your commands. commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord in the way of your, your commands. commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, in the way, in the way of, of your commands. commands. And I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, in the way of your commands. commands. the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I might proclaim your gospel worthily in all the world. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. 
He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Something larger than what's in front of us. Seeing the big picture, a realization that I am a part of something larger than myself. All of those expressions we use so often are celebrated in the gospel today. To realize what Jesus says is not in any way to say that his mother, although at times in scriptures we know he could be a little tough on his mother, and we know that he spoke back to his mother, but it was all to bring about the glory of God, to bring about the announcement of the kingdom of God. Each time he spoke and she just simply said, do whatever he tells you. But today we come to realize he's not talking against his family, but he's saying those who belong to my family are those who hear the word of God and act on it. They don't just hear the word of God and keep passing by or see the needs of others and keep on their way to themselves, but feel a part of something larger. Those who hear my word and act on it are my family. That's what it means to be a Christian. That's what it means to belong to the body of Christ. Not just to hear the word of God, but to come to live it out and act on it. And Jesus in these three short verses says, this is who my family is. We have the book of Proverbs this morning before us and these beautiful, beautiful reminders of what a life of discipleship is about. A life of living in the spirit, a life of living for others, of avoiding the wicked, a life that calls us to realize the needs of others before our own. These are the things that will remind us that we belong to the family of Christ. Sure, all of us want to know where we're from, where we belong. We all want to know our ancestry, and a lot of money has been made trying to figure out exactly who we belong to and where we're from. And that's all wonderful, because all of us should know that, to truly appreciate the gift of family, the gift of ancestry, the gift of heritage. But all of us belong to the family of Christianity. And there's really only one way for you and for me to trace our roots to Christ. It's to hear the word of God and act on it. Let us offer our prayers now with confidence and trust in the living God. For the faithful throughout the world, may the Lord increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policymakers, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are burdened by the need for safety, shelter, and sustenance, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, may the Lord strengthen our identity as one family in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may the Lord welcome them to eternal joy in heaven. We pray especially for David Fletcher on his 20th anniversary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special petitions we have on our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, source of every blessing in our lives, you gave us your only Son so that we might belong to your family in heaven. Hear these spoken prayers and those in the silence of our hearts through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite hearts may we be accepted by you, O Lord, this day, and pleasing in your sight, Lord God. Lord, wash me from all my sins. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also with him you created it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My friends, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This mingling of the money. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a wonderful day, everyone.